For me, I think targeted therapy is part of our, our routine cancer care. I'm always looking for new treatments and the best treatments for my patients. Chemotherapy and radiation has been the mainstay of treatment for maybe half a century for cancer patients. However, in the last 10 to 15 years, there's been really a growth in targeted therapy. The ability for us to identify new targets and really use them to identify the right patient for the right drug at the right time. Genomic testing is a method by which we can learn about tumors in a way that we could never do before. We can impact a therapy for a patient that before was never known, and we can match that therapy to the specific genomic alteration that is in the tumor. We can make a diagnosis of a particular tumor, for example, based on the DNA alteration that it has, rather than just the way that it looks under the microscope in a slide. Genomic testing is just the beginning. We've made incredible progress in the last 20 years, from the early days of just checking for HER2 overexpression to multi-platform sequencing. The field of clinical genomics has grown tremendously in a very short amount of time. As a result, the promise of clinical genomics is the promise of the future. It's not the genomic information alone that matters. It's the integration of that information with the entire patient, the entire patient's history, and even the future of that patient and their response to treatment. One of the advantages is that we can aggregate all this information together to make connections between alterations that we see in more than one patient and outcomes. And that's happened so much in the last five to 10 years that our expectation is that every year there'll be a new discovery that will help new patients. Every day we're confronted with patients that need help, that they're coming to us in their most vulnerable state and they need to get better. And so we're constantly striving to use new types of information uh, to make that happen. Pathologists and oncologists are really partners in taking care of patients with cancer. As pathologists, we're providing key pieces of information to help guide therapy. And the objective is for the oncologist to have recommendations about the best way to go about treating the patient. I'm using molecular information, including DNA sequencing, to actually make a diagnosis. You don't meet the pathologist, but there's a person who is absolutely focused on making sure that you get the right answer about your tumor, about the tumor type, about its stage, and now about the molecular test. When patients are trying to decide where to get their treatment, I think it's best for them to consider a place that has expertise in many different domains. While Cornell has an integrated team of doctors who are committed to the treatment and care of cancer patients, the combination of equipment and intellectual power is very strong here and has made this a successful program. We're trying to always use the most up-to-date information, the most up-to-date techniques, the most up-to-date technologies to ensure that we're making the most accurate and timely diagnosis that can best inform the other people on the team as to how to treat the patient.